Quentin's got panini! Quentin's got panini! Good day and welcome to the vlog. It is Monday morning. Back to the grind. Back to using a schedule. I like schedules. Get up at 5.07. Oh, sorry, 7.07. Seven. I don't know why I like setting it at 7.07. Oh yeah, it's because if I set it at 7 o'clock even, uh, they have news and I don't want to hear news when I first wake up because it's always bad. So I woke up at 7.07. 7.07. Seven, seven oh seven. It's usually a piece of music that hopefully makes my day go rocking. Uh, so today I have to... Uh, zip up to Alcona to Subway and possibly do uh, one of their new panini things. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet, but uh, yeah, it's the easiest thing I want to do right now. It's only a six inch. And then I have to shoot another one for Wednesday. I'm not doing a cook and review this week uh, because tonight we have the deck people coming. So they're going to give us an idea of how much it costs to replace this deck. We want to make it a little bit bigger. And, uh, yeah, I just don't have time to do it myself. I could do it myself. Just don't have time. All right? Okay? <laughs> There's a couple more things. I, I've phoned the drone guy, or sorry, emailed the drone guy several times, hoping that he will respond, because I want to drop it off on Wednesday on the way downtown to Toronto. Uh, we're doing Mother's Day dinner tonight, because Ben wasn't around last night, and uh, we were coming in late last night past dinner and we already ate at Carol's Cottage so so we're gonna be doing that let's just move on with this day let's go on my way up to Alcona I had to make a list of things I need to do so it's the food review I gotta to go to the dry cleaners gotta to go to the bank uh, and there's a couple other things on there my seatbelt warning light's going on because the, the camera bag is heavy. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. Let's keep going. Okay. We're at the beer store. Gonna do the remaining returns and then the dry cleaners is right there, so bonus. Food review. Throw that in the front seat. Dry cleaning. Sure, perfect. Okay. Five church. You left me? Uh Domic. D O M I K. What number is it? Uh 705. Mm -hmm. five. Uh five. Okay, so I've got my this is where I learned to say hello in Korean. There's some Korean, Korean owners in there. Many years ago when I used to drink Jolt Cola. But uh, yeah, so I'll pick up Friday, have some nice laundry for the weekend. I think we're going up to the cottage uh, for the long weekend. That's why I got the beers. I figured I'm gonna need the beers for tomorrow at the cottage. And then, oh, I'm gonna put this right there just to remind myself and then I'll need the rest of the beers for the weekend because it's a long weekend coming up kind of a travel blog tra travel vlog cottage travel vlog starting Friday 
now we're at the bank, RBC, and the subway's right there, so I'm nailing all these things, nice. Oh, maybe I should lock that. Okay, banking's done. Now off to Subway. Chipotle steak and cheese panini, please. Um, yes, please. Okay. How else would you take it? <laughs> like it on the other buns. Really, eh? Yeah, uh, into a as well. uh, okay. Got it. I like squishy sandwiches. Came to the right place. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, yes, please. Is that what most people order? I like it with the white cheddar. Some people like it with the orange. I find that better with it. Okay. And the peppers and onions? Yes, please. Oh, of course, yes, please. This panini is crazy hot. Crazy hot panini! Crazy hot panini! So back to the same old, same old. We're just going to use the lights today. Light one. That is real. Um, yeah, I could do it right here. Light two. Light two. Uh oh. Fail. Uh, okay. I can turn on light two. Oops. There we go. Light one. I can't remember the last time I used these things. They were on like the lowest setting. Don't recall. All right. Put this stuff away. Get up my tray. And we are almost ready to go. Ow! It bit me. Subway, eat fresh. All right, we're gonna shoot this and then we'll be right back. Hang on. All right, we're pulling out. And uh, the one thing I just realized we need to do on the way home is hit the post office. And then we're pretty much done almost everything on my list. Uh, a couple things I uh, have to do while I'm at home. I don't do them here. Uh, another one of the things is too was this intact thing. This is what was plugged into my car for six months to uh, give my insurance a company a heads up on how I drive, whether I accelerate fast, slow down too fast, speed. Um, I think that was it. Those are the three things that they were like looking at. And oh, when, and when you were driving, what times of the day you were driving. So they kind of formulate uh, a plan from that and it's to help them, I guess, figure out what the insurance rate should be. So I think while that was plugged in and hopefully uh, before, during and after that was plugged in that uh, I was driving well. And uh, yeah, if you do this, they'll save you 5% and if you, uh, I guess when they get the readings all back, they might actually save you up to 25% if all your readings and uh, driving habits are good. All right, let's go home. No, sorry, let's go to the post office. post office so make sure I have my fob don't want to leave without fob oh, nice Mustang I think that's a 67 or 66 blue convertible so we got something from Matthew and Barry, something from Sean in Windsor. It's an all Canadian day today. And then we got something from a company called Robocop. I'll have to show you that thing possibly tomorrow or today. 
We'll see when we get home how much time I got. Let's go. Five to four, I put together the subway video. It's done, it's gone, it's out. I responded to a whole bunch of people for the first like hour. Did the dishes. Now it's time to open up this mail. This one was from Sean and he was from Windsor. It was a surprise. I didn't know what's in it. He didn't tell me what was in it, but he told me and he took a picture. Sean's one of the coolest guys because he actually took a picture of the envelope to let me know that this envelope was coming. So that was, uh, I, re I really like that idea, Sean. So thank you very much, sir. And what is it? Oh my goodness. Sean treated me to a beer store. I just went there. <laughs> Too late, Sean. I'll have to use it on the weekend maybe if I run out. Hello, Ken. I wish to thank you for all your hard work. Hey, Ninja that you put out on a daily basis for myself and all the other subscribers and followers of your channels. Please accept this little token of my appreciation as a thank you again. Thanks, Sean, YouTube ID 55098. He is, he is awesome. He's always commenting. He's always coming on the live shows, always being a fantastic dude. Sean, how much is that? $10,000 worth of beer. Thanks, buddy. I'm just kidding. So yeah, it's for it's for Sean and I to know what he did. Oh, it says right on the back. Maybe you guys saw that. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you have to go to rewind the video to find out. Thank you, thank you very much, Sean. That was awesome. All right, now we're on to Matthew M. And I believe he is from Barry, but he either knows somebody from Ecuador, but again, uh, he. Wanted me to try some Ecuadorian treats. I've been to Ecuador, but while I was there, I don't remember doing too many Ecuadorian things. So, oh, explosion of treats everywhere. Smell chocolate. All right, look at that. We've got that. Again, I don't speak Spanish, so we've got that. All you Spanish speaking folk. And we've got a whole bunch of these things, of course. There would be a soccer ball in there. You guys love your soccer. When you guys were in the, uh, I don't know, the World Soccer Championships, I always forget what they're called, uh, I always vote for, or root for Ecuador because I just happened to be in Ecuador when you guys were playing games, and uh, so I kind of fell in love with Ecuadorian football. So Matthew wrote uh, just to thank me for allowing him to send me stuff. I, I like free food. It's free food is always good. Uh, and he was just, letting me know that he apologizes for sending all the little the little things but they all come in like bags of 50 so he wanted to send me a lot of things so he just kind of took them out of the bags which is fine that's totally uh okay anyway so he just wants me to uh, try all these ecuadorian treats and uh hope he looks forward to the possible video and he gave me a little rundown of what all this stuff is so thank you very much matthew and thank you very much oh and then i had one more thing here so this is from a company called robocop uh, I, talk, I talked to Ben already. It's basically like um, an emergency thing where you pull it and it makes a very, very, very loud noise and it's supposed to scare away people and, and bears and stuff if you're out in the wilderness. So look forward to that little review. Uh, ben and I will be doing that sometime this week. But uh, again, thank you, Matthew and Sean, for these candies and beers.